Hello everyone, welcome to APGNation.com and to my review of Uncanny Valley. A copy of this game was provided for the purpose of this review, so thank you very much Cowardly Creations. You are Tom, a newly recruited night shift security guard at a remote and closed down facility. So your role is to patrol the facility, solve a couple of simple puzzles and snoop through emails to start fleshing out some interesting backstory about the facility. Tom is also haunted by dark and often disturbing nightmares that tell its very own story. So visually, the game takes on a simple pixelated design. At times, this can be a bit underwhelming, especially in this scene where you can barely make out any of the right but when it comes to the darker and more disturbing scenes in the game, that's when the visuals do the game justice. So when you start the game, you are introduced to the slack daytime security guard, given a quick tour of the facility, meet a mysterious woman, and find your apartment to get changed for your first day of work. During your shift, you have a 7 minute time limit before your shift ends, in which you can explore the facility and neighbouring areas, and discover very little. Gameplay wise, the majority of the game is just exploring with at times a little bit of stealth survival gameplay near the end of the game. There is nothing wrong with being able to explore but all you can really find is scattered cassette tapes and computers with emails and both of these just help you understand the backstory of the facility. Unfortunately though, since your shift only lasts 7 minutes, you don't really get enough time to read all of these emails and there are a lot of them. So apparently once your shift is over, you are supposed to try and get back to your apartment to go to sleep. Now this is where I started to get a bit confused. There were times where I could get back in time to go to sleep, there were times where I fell asleep where I stood, and there were even times where I couldn't go to sleep and I didn't fall asleep where I stood. I don't know if this was a glitch or part of the game or what, but it's very confusing and it's not explained. So amongst all of this exploring, you can occasionally meet up with characters, solve a puzzle or two, and these change the progression and outcome of the game. Without getting into detail, Detail, certain choices on certain nights result in different outcomes, and in the later parts of the game you finally encounter enemies that you either have to run or sneak around. You can apparently use a gun, but during my time I didn't actually find it, and I read that apparently it's mostly used as backup defense. So after I finished my first playthrough, it is recommended to play the game again to experience more, but every time you do, you have to go through the same unskippable sequences all over again, and you quickly discover that there isn't really many decisions you can make. And the only real gameplay for the start of the game is to go around exploring and reading emails, which to be honest, gets boring fast. What I do like about Uncanny Valley is the eerie atmosphere that makes you question every single room you enter, and the dream sequences are creepy, and at times disturbing, reminding me of other brilliant psychological horror games like the Silent Hill series. But since the game is so short and recommends that you replay its very limited amount of gameplay and decisions, it just didn't seem worth it, so unfortunately, I think that this should be avoided. Uncanny Valley borrows too many ideas from other brilliant psychological horror titles and doesn't contribute anything really original. Limited gameplay, limited choices and pointless exploration unfortunately resulted in the game becoming boring and a chore to play, especially more than once. For everything else gaming, subscribe and stay tuned to apgnation.com.